Jeremiah 16. People don't know this. This has always been in your Bible. Read this. Look, they go to the Catholic Church. They pray the cross. They worship the white man. Day and night. They give their offerings to the white man. They call the white man their pope, which means father. After the real Christ said, don't do that. Look what's in the Bible. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 16 and verses 14. This has always been in the Bible. Read. Therefore, behold. Behold what? The days come. The days. The days. The days. These days. Read. Say of the Lord. Uh-huh. That it shall no more be said. What shall no more be said? What? The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. You children. You Hispanics are the children of Israel. Right. You blacks are the children of Israel. Right. It shall no longer be said. What? That the Lord brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Why? Because Egypt was judged. Blood. Fire. Their firstborns killed. We're going to get to that. You understand that? They were judged. Let God's people go. Just like we're asking today. Right. Let the black man go. Read Let the out. Hispanic man go. Right. Stop oppressing the Hispanic woman. Stop right. oppressing the Hispanic, the black woman. Right. Think about that. Read it again. But therefore, behold, the days come and see of the Lord, uh -huh. that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth. Why is this going to be no more be said? It's recorded in the Bible, right? Why is no more going to be said? Read. The Lord liveth. That brought up the children of Israel uh -huh. out of the land of Egypt. Why? That's my question. Why? Read. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Where's the land of the north, sister? Where's the land of the north? I don't know. You don't know? I know you know. Yeah, she gonna connect the dots. Where's the land of the north? Huh? Huh? Where? You said Canada? You're close. No. I, she said Canada. No, the land of the north. North what? Not the north pole. North America. Read it again. But the Lord liveth that brought lock up. Lock in. We don't get to the image. I want y'all to lock in. Keep going. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel uh -huh. from the land of the north. The land of the north is this land. It's going to be said that the children of Israel will be liberated from North America. Yes, right. Y'all watch the news. Y'all see what's going on, right? There's wars over there, right? Right. So why are they saying being liberated from over there? That's the question. Because those ain't the people. Right. Those not the people of the book. Right. And they know that. And they still killing Palestinians. They still killing Lebanese. They had your mothers and fathers in slavery. For hundreds of years. That ain't the people. Right. Read again. But the Lord liveth uh -huh. that brought up the children of Israel uh -huh. from the land of the north. And then what? And from the land wherein he had driven them. Which land were we driven? Driven. Look at that. Did we make that up? Did we make that up? What does it mean by we were driven? Slavery. Stolen. Stolen. Trans That's a great stolen. way, huh? Transported. Transported. Excellent words you're using. You understand that? You see how plain the Bible is? You see how plain? Read. Where they were driven. And I will bring them again into their land. And I will give. I will them. bring them again into their land. Which means what? This ain't our land. Where were we driven from? From Africa. Right. Specifically the land of Israel. Right. That's right. You understand that? Keep going. From their land that I gave unto their fathers. God gave that unto our fathers and they ran us out. 70 AD the Romans came. What race of people are the Romans? White people. They drove us out of Jerusalem. Of the land of Israel. Think about these things. Keep going. That's it. Go back. Deuteronomy 28. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 uh -huh. and verses 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou will not hearken. So you said slavery is in the Bible, right, sis? Well, what now? Read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe 
to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You want to see how cursed the black and Hispanic man is? The black and Hispanic woman is? I'm going to ask them right this question. Officer Jordan, Officer Jordan, let me ask him a question. Let me ask y'all a question. Real quick. Real quick. Which one is Jesus? Which one is Jesus? Which one is Jesus? Huh? I know you got glasses. Come, come a little closer so you can see. The Olia, come over and see. Come over and see. Which one is Jesus? If they knew, they would just plainly be like, "Yo, that right there." Right. It's simple. They don't want to say the wrong thing, and that's how crazy it is right now. They're not certain. If you don't want to say the wrong thing, then you're not certain. Right. Think about that. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 48. Verses 48. Uh-huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. How do we serve our enemies? How do we serve them today? Because most of these people don't see themselves as slaves. How do we serve our enemies today? Read. That the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. How do we serve our enemies in hunger? How do we serve our enemies in hunger? Giving them the wrong stuff to eat. Huh? Giving them the wrong things to eat. Giving them the wrong things? We got to go to them for whatever they need to eat, period. Think about that. Look at that man's cross. Have mercy. I know the odor is strong. Have mercy. But look at the cross. How'd that cross get on his neck? Think about that. When his forefathers was on the plantation, if they didn't put the cross and pledge allegiance to the cross, serve that cross, they didn't eat. And guess what? They made sure that they showed up to church. And their children, they taught them to worship the cross. Come to church every Sunday. You understand? Therefore, thou shalt send thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee, uh -huh. in hunger you hear that? and in thirst. What about thirst? How do we drink on the plantation? You think that ended? Where do we go to drink now? Let the white man shut your water off. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let's say the white man shuts the water off in the Bronx. Everybody go, man. It's gonna be a crisis. They go for the water bottles first. Crisis is a wonderful word to put it. They go for the water bottles, and when they run up, then what? Then what? They jumping in the Hudson? <laughs> nah, you don't want to drink that. Nothing but hepatitis A, hepatitis C, all kind of madness in that water. I wouldn't do it, would you? But guess what? Read it again. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee, uh -huh. in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst. You see in reality how the Bible is just making it plain for us. You know why? Black people always got something to say. Right there, right there. Always got something to say. God don't operate like that. Once he speak, that's what it is. Keep going. And in nakedness. And in what? And in nakedness. Where y'all get y'all clothes from? Where they get the clothes from? From the fact that somebody so, their enemies, man. Their enemies gotta produce the textiles. Yeah, it could be called Sean John, but where he get the clothing from? Where he get the textiles? It could be Rockaway, but where they get the textiles from? You understand? They're gonna make their cut. But behind closed doors, the man is making sure that they go out with permission. Keep going. And in what of all things? Like what? In both y'all wallets, there's an ID, right? Why? They gotta keep track of you. They gotta keep track. They gotta be able to identify who you are. And if you are who you say you are, right? Think about that. Your ID, where you go where you go for that? The DMV. Right? Who is behind that? The movement. Your enemies. The government. 
the land where you were brought, you were driven to, as the scripture say. You understand? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron now, upon thy neck. This is specific. What's a yoke of iron used for? A yoke of iron is what you put on oxen. You put a yoke of iron on oxen. Why did they put that on our people? Keep us in control. Keep us control us. To do what? Keep us down. Keep us down. Excellent. They brought us into what's called chattel slavery. They reduced us, treated us like cattle, subhuman. You know, in the law, it says we're three fifths of a man. It don't matter what it says in the Civil Rights uh, Act, it still says we're three fifths of a man in the Constitution. They ain't changing that. Think about that. Look at these right here. These are enemies. Our enemies. The black and Hispanic man has enemies. Think about what they did to us in Arabia. The Arab man is our enemy. The white man is our enemy. And many more. The Chinese man is our enemy. You understand that? Get uh, Psalms 83. Think about that. You watch the news? The UN General Assembly. Why they gotta do that? You know why? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. Uh -huh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. A tumult is a great commotion. A great commotion. A tumult is an argument. Like if you see brothers over there arguing, you gonna hear from here. They gonna get loud. They're going to be going back and forth. But our enemies are having a great tumult. This is worldwide. Read. And they that hate thee. They that what? They that hate they thee. They that what? They that hate thee. Who did they hate? They hate us. And who they showed that hatred to first? God. By doing what? Changing the image of Christ, his son, to this. Read. They that hate thee have lifted up the head. They lift up their head, meaning what? They got prideful. Why? Think about it. Our enemies have had us enslaved for hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. So now they think they're God. Now they went to the moon. Oh shoot, no God here? We must be God. Right? That's what they think, right? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against who? Against thy people. Maybe it's one person. Read again. They have taken crafty counsel. Crafty counsel. Meaning what? They got slick. They got real slick. Against who? Against thy people. God's people. God's people. Not God's individual. God's people. You see the slave trade? That's why it happened to God's people. That's why no one man was taken as a slave. We were taken as a people. That's why the Pope, Nicholas V, instituted worldwide slavery if you weren't a Christian. And guess what? They came for our people. They didn't enslave the Chinese. They didn't enslave the East Indians. They became indentured servants. We became property. You understand that? Read. And have consulted against thine hidden Who ones. Who is God's hidden ones? Who's God's hidden ones? Who is hidden among society that don't know who they are? Where's the black man from? I don't know. Y'all just came from Africa. Think about that. Who is God's hidden ones? Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. How did they do that? How did they do that? Now you got African American, which is two white names. African is a white, it's a Roman conqueror. Americo Vespucci is an American explorer, an Italian explorer that they named America after. You mean you got two white fathers and a white Jesus. You think they, they gonna stop there? Nah, they ain't, they ain't gonna stop there. Read that again. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. How did they do that? 
Now you got Dominicans. Now you got Haitians. Now you got Cubans. Now you got Brazilians. But the Bible called us Israelites. The Bible called us Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Asher, Ephraim. These are God-given names. These names have power. These names mean that the earth belongs to you. But in order for them to conquer you, they got to remove those names from you. Think about that. Just like when you read the Bible, you read about Romans, right? You read about Corinthians, right? You read about Galatians, right? But these were Israelites. You understand? Get Romans 11 and 1. I'm going to show you something. The book is called Romans. It's a letter to the Romans, right? But what does Paul say here? Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 1. What does Paul say? I say then. I say then. This is after the conversation. Read. Has God cast away his people? Because that's the question. That's the question. Has the black man and the Hispanic man been cast away? Today, 2024, you would see it and believe it. Look at the state of this woman right there. That's bugged out. That is bugged out. Smoking whatever. The wig all upside. That's out of order. How do we fix these things in the community? Guess what? A lot of people don't want that fix. They're fine with that. You know why? Because they think God cast away his people. Read it. I say then, has God cast away his so people? So after you see all the oppression in the Bronx, Paul says then, has God cast away his people? We gotta read it today like he's, like he's here. Just like back then, he was there and the same condition was before him. Read. God forbid. God forbid. Right. You're not casting away. Right. You're not casting away. Right. You would go in a church, sit there day and night, week upon week, giving offerings. And they make you to believe you're casting away, that you are a Gentile. You're not. You are God's chosen people. Read. For I also am an Israelite. Well, what does Paul say? I also am what? An Israelite. Y'all gotta say it. What are you? What are you? You hear that, sister? There's power in that. That's right. Even though y'all said it low, there is bad tools of power in that. Because you're shifting hundreds of years of oppression and slavery by saying that. You understand that? Read. Of the seed of Abraham. Of what? Of the seed of Abraham. The father of nations they call Abraham. But guess what? It's because of Abraham that you have the ability to repent. It's because of Christ that you have the ability to repent. Why? Because God made a promise to Abraham. For his sake. For his sake. Made a promise to your forefather, King David. For his sake. Christ gave his life for your sakes. You understand that? Read. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Of what? Of the tribe of Benjamin. You see why these names are important? We're reading the book of Romans. A letter to Romans. We know the Romans are Italians, Caucasians. Was he talking to them? No. He was talking to you blacks that resided in those areas. You Israelites that resided in those areas. You understand that? Y'all, y'all, y'all copy on that? Don't worry about the rain. Don't worry about the rain. Worst things gonna come. Worst things gonna come. And y'all gonna stand stiff for the Lord. Get that in 2nd Ezra. Get that in 2nd Ezra and in Revelations 14. 2nd Ezra 38. Start there. 2nd Ezra. 2 and 38. This is a great thing that y'all are doing here listening. You know why? This is why Christ said the kingdom is within you. You understand that? Each one of us got to stand step for the Lord. 46 and 47. Say it again. Second, just 2, 46, 47. 46 and 47. 
This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 2, verse 46. Ezra was shown the future. You know what a privilege that is to be chosen by God to see the future? 3,000 years ago, you see it these days. Read. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them? What young person is it that crowneth them? It that crowneth them. Read. And giveth them palms in their hands. Puts palms in their hands. Read. So he answered and said unto me, uh -huh. It is the Son of God. This is the Old Testament that Christ is being prophesied. In the end of days, Christ is doing what? He's doing what? He answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God. He's doing what? The previous verse. Pay attention. The previous verse. What is he doing? Then said I unto the angel, What young man is it that crowneth them? He's crowning them. Crowning them, read. And giving them palms and in their hands. Palms in their hands. Giving them power, rulership. Giving them palms in their hands. Read. What do you do with a palm in your hand? You got a palm in your hand. What you gonna do with it? That's a scepter. That's a weapon stick. It could be an either or. Like you ever seen grandmother go grab the palm off the tree? The islanders know. In the DR, they know. In Haiti, they know. Right. There ain't no palms here right now. Right? But Christ is gonna give you a crown and a scepter. And you also going to use that as a weapon stick. You understand that? Read. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God, whom they have confessed in the world. How? How are we going to confess in the world? The same way we're bringing out this understanding to you. We're showing you the reality of the Bible. We're showing you that Christ is not a white man. That he looks like you. That he looks like you. That there are commandments that we must keep. That's how you confess God. That we expose the evils that's happening to our people. That's how we confess. Read. Then began I greatly to commend them. Why were they commended? That stood so stiffly. That stood so what? That stood so stiffly. Y'all are in training right now. You understand? I'm going to show you how to stand stiff with me, sister. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it out. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it out. You were raised in certain conditions, in certain practices, right. in certain traditions right. of this kingdom. God wants you to go to his traditions, to go to his practices. Yes. They're called commandments. Oh, no. You understand that? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What's that talking about? What is that talking about, sister? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is that talking about? Man's clothing. What man's clothing? Pants. No. What did you say? Pants. That's it. Pants. That's it. When you go to the bathroom, you see the signs. How we tell the difference between a man and a woman? What the woman got on? A skirt, right? It ain't supposed to be that short, but we don't roll with that for now, right? And what the man got on? Pants. Read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So your objective is to stand stiffly, right? Because when Christ comes back, he's given crowns and palms, right? But what don't you not want? Get Zephaniah 1 and 8. Hold that. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass in uh -huh. the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the what? In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Who's going to be sacrificed? Your enemies. Why? Why? For the things they've done. For the things they've done. You're putting it together, my brother. Now look. Look what your enemies taught you. Read. That I will punish the princes. Who are the princes? Did he not say he's going to give you a what? A crown. And a what? A palm! He's gonna punish the what? 
punish the princes and what and the king's children and the king's home and the king's children our sisters our right. mothers our up. daughters yes, he's gonna punish them why free come in sis and come all in. such are as and all such as are clothed with strange apparel like what cross dressing right is it does a white man call a cross dressing no because he gonna do whatever against god but guess what according to god it is cross dressing right. you understand that right you don't want to be on that side Shalom Israel, Musa and Christ bless. Scan that QR code that you all see on the screen. Because guess what? We trying to push this truth toward the four corners of the earth. Let's push this truth toward the four corners of the earth, man. Stop playing games, man. Make sure you subscribe to all our channels. We're pushing the truth. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Woo! Nation is unity. Nation is you.